What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee and today I'm so excited to do this video because I'm going to be comparing Fabletics pants with my beloved Lululemon pants. I recently had a mistake happen. <laughs> So a couple months back, I decided to purchase a couple of items through Fabletics. And I'm sure if you are on social media at all, you've seen the two for 24 deal that they have. That's like an introductory package. Well, I used that to purchase those items. And then I forgot about my membership and the membership processed. And so I had a credit. I decided to use that credit to buy a couple of things. And one of the things that I ended up purchasing was a pair of pants. Now I am a hardcore Lululemon owner. I have so much Lululemon. I worked at Lululemon. I love them so, so much. Like everything that I'm wearing right now, sweatshirt, shirt, bra that I won't show you, pants, even my socks is from Lululemon. And I particularly love their pants because they're the only pants that I've been able to find that allow me to run, to weight lift, to do yoga, and not have them like ride down when I'm squatting or when I'm running. They last a really, really long time, and I just love the fit and the colors and everything. But I wanted to give another brand a try and see how it worked out. And a lot of you guys on my Instagram requested that I do this video. So we are gonna do this video. I'm super excited to just compare and contrast and see which ones I like better. It was a pair of one of my all time favorite pants, the Align 28 inch inseams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> focus, focus please. There we go. So these, as I said, are the Align. They're the HR and they are in a 28 inch inseam. I like these because I have very short legs, so they're a little bit shorter than the regular inseam, but they're not quite crops. And then what I'm comparing them to are the Fabletics pants that you see here. So these are the Pure Lux in 7 8 inch inseam. I think that's how I say it. You can tell I don't wear these. Yes, ultra high waist Pure Lux 7 8 pants. And I, again, love the fabric. I love the design. They feel very, very similar to the Aligns, which is why I feel like I could compare the two equally. So one of the things that I like about the Align leggings is that they're high-waisted. I love high-waisted pants, especially when I'm working out because the last thing that I want is for my butt crack to show when I'm squatting or running. The other thing that I absolutely love, and I probably shouldn't put this against my face because I have makeup on, and I know that you guys can't feel this, but the fabric, if you've ever tried the Align fabric, it's like literal butter. It's so smooth, it's so soft, it feels like, they're super, super uh, just like comfy. Like you wanna just like cozy up in them and like sit under a blanket and watch some TV. But the nice thing about these is that they are very compressive. And so it's like this nice balance between them being really comfortable, but also being really supportive when you're working out. So just to get a little technical, one of the things that I also love about Lululemon is that they have a ton of just like secret hidden pockets. These pants have a tiny little like hidden pocket and it looks really small. Like I said, tiny, right? But I have an iPhone 11 Pro and I can easily fit it into this pocket here. You're seeing like my hand go in here. Like it's very, very large. So it's a really nice kind of addition because again, if you're running and you need to hold your phone or you need to hold your wallet or something like that, driver's license, whatever, you can easily just like hide it in there and it makes for a nice, easy time running because the last thing you want to do is like hold your keys while you're running or hold your phone while you're running and then you drop it and then you have to get a new phone. And so you might as well have just bought the nice pants that were a little bit more money so that you didn't have to pay for a new phone that's like a thousand dollars. Okay, so then the Fabletics Pure Lux. I had to do a little bit of investigating for these pants because of course I've never worn them before. So unlike the Aligns that I could honestly talk about in my sleep, these ones I had to kind of figure out a little bit. I would say that the fabric is very similar to the Aligns. Like there's a little bit more stitching in the back, which might actually be kind of nice. It might uh, um, add for some extra support. I don't know if you guys can see that. The other nice thing about these is that they are high-waisted just like the Align joggers. So I'm really excited to put these puppies on and see how I squat in them and run in them and all of that. Um, looking inside these, there is a pocket similar to the Align uh, joggers. But what I will say is that the Align joggers, the pocket is like this. And so you can easily like put a phone in there, put like car keys or whatever, and they're not going to fly up, right? Like, so if my pants are like this, a line jogger pocket is like this, like it's perpendicular. But this uh, pocket, it's about the same size. No, 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 that's way smaller. It's way smaller and it also goes down like a regular pocket. So I would definitely be afraid. Let me just show you guys here. 
I would definitely be afraid to put my phone in this, honestly, because it's probably gonna fall. Now, it is like resting up against my hip, so maybe that won't be a problem, uh, but I don't know. Already a knock on the Fabletics, but that's just for the pocket. We haven't even put these on yet. Other than that, I think that they're really similar to the Aligns. The only thing is that their fabric feels like butter, just like Aligns, but I'm afraid about the compression and the fit. I'm not sure, it seems like it's not as tight, like it's not gonna support me as much, but I don't know. Next thing we gotta do is put these puppies on and see how they fare. All right, so it's one thing for me to show you how they look. It's one thing for me to try them on. It is an entirely different thing for me to actually work out in these pants. Well, I've got my Lululemon pants on. I'm gonna do a leg day. I'm gonna do some running and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you some of the movements that I think are the most important to consider when you are buying a new pair of pants. Squatting, running, jumping. Kevin is gonna film me. I'm wearing Lulu too. <laughs> definitely slid much more that time around. I mean, it's high-waisted, so it's fine, but it slid more, for sure. All right, so after looking at the pants, trying them on, and then working out in them, I came up with kind of like my own rating system that I'm gonna go over with you to really decide if Lululemon pants are better than Fabletics or vice versa. Okay, so for function, function, I just kind of defined this as how I move around in them when I'm not exercising. So can I sit in them comfortably? Can I like squat down, pick something up comfortably, etc. For these, I would have to give both pants a nine out of 10. I feel like they were pretty reasonable. Like I could walk around in them and not feel really exposed. And I could kind of feel like I was locked in and loaded, which is something that I really think is important when I'm looking at a pair of pants. But I also felt like I could sit in them comfortably and I didn't really tell I couldn't really tell a difference between the two other than the fact that Fabletics has like a little bit more stitching so there was a little bit more of a like kind of compact compression feel to them with the Lululemon pants they were softer but they weren't as compressed for the price I would definitely have to say that Fabletics wins on this one they get a 10 out of 10 whereas Lululemon I rated them a 7 out of 10 and it's just because they both retail at about the same price. Like I think the retail price for Lululemon pants is $98 and for Fabletics it's actually pretty high at $78. But you can get sick discounts with both companies. The only thing is, is that Fabletics you can get the two for $24 discount, which I don't think you could beat anywhere, honestly. For me, I noticed the biggest difference when I actually worked out in these pants. So Lululemon, I know I can run in them, I can jump in them, I can squat in them, I can do whatever I need to do in them, and I, I'm gonna stay secure and I'm gonna feel like they're not gonna like fall apart. I was kind of surprised at the way that the Fabletics pants moved when I squatted, when I ran, when I did the jump ropes. I felt almost like there was like a gap. Like I've never noticed that gap ever when I have worn Lululemon pants, but when I wore the Fabletics pants, when I was jumping and running and things like that, I noticed that there was a gap and because there was a gap, they kind of like shifted from side to side. So I do have to say that I really loved the panel, like the panel of the Fabletics pants. I feel like they were much tighter, like around here in this section, which I know is something that a lot of women especially want to like keep everything like tucked in. There's a, a pair of Lululemon pants that I actually own as well. I can't remember the name, but they fit a lot more similarly to these pants here. The Aligns admittedly are not meant for like compression. They're meant for like, like I said before, like soft, buttery, kind of like comfy almost. More like on the yoga side of things, Pilates side of things versus like running 10 miles in them. But I do feel like these Fabletic pants 
I, I feel like I could go on a longer run with these. I definitely can feel the compression a lot more. And I actually really like the fact that there's a little bit more stitching just in general. Stitching like back here, there's like more stitching along the sides and like on the inner thighs as well. I feel like that extra stitching really makes a big difference, especially when you want to keep everything in and compressed. Um, but again, like I said, the fabric definitely doesn't seem as durable as Lululemon. So I feel like it's gonna feel really nice now, but then over time, as I wear them again and again, they're probably gonna lose some of their elasticity and compression. So overall, I still would have to say that I prefer the Lululemon Align pants to the Fabletics pants, but I was really surprised at the Fabletics like fit, the cut, the color, the price, everything seemed to work really, really well. So if you are on a budget and you don't have that 25% discount like I have, or if you are looking for things that maybe have like brighter colors and you want like more of a variety and you want to buy like five pairs of pants versus one or two or three or whatever, I definitely would recommend the Fabletics pants. I think they have great quality. I don't think that they're gonna last as long as my Lululemon pants, but again, I will make another video later on, maybe three to six months down the road and let you guys know, keep you guys updated and see if that is in fact the case. Okay, I hope that this helped. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button if you like these types of videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Champion! Pia. Little horse. Pants. Naga Pants. Dan. Pants. <laughs> Pants here. Pants there. Pants. Printing, and I figured that I would show you guys what some of the common movements that we all do in. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to find the best lighting. Well, the best. You found the best lighting, and then my ass is in there? <laughs>